You tell them, girl, whatever floats your boat. So while fans had plenty to say about their own athletes in Sochi, they were also talking about athletes from other countries, most notably in the men's snowboard halfpipe finals. Athletes and the judges, that is. All the talk leading up to the competition centered on American superstar Sean White and whether he could win a third Olympic gold medal in the halfpipe. The speculation only intensified when White dropped out of last weekend's slope-style competition, announcing that he wanted to focus solely on his signature event. On Tuesday, he posted the highest score among all riders in the first round of qualifying and advanced directly to the finals, skipping the semifinals in the process. But during the nighttime finals session, he could only muster a 90.25 and had to settle for a disappointing fourth place a mere two points off the podium. Instead, Swiss rider Lori Podlachikov won the gold with a run of 94.75 points, and two Japanese riders took the silver and bronze, 15-year-old Ayumu Hirano and 18-year-old Taku Hiraoka, respectively. The two became the first ever Olympic snowboarding medalist from Asia. And like Japan, China also put two athletes in the finals. Although neither of them made the podium, Zhang Yiwei and Shi Wan Chung each posted runs of over 80 points, finishing in 6th and 7th place respectively. Some bristling Chinese fans complained that the Japanese judge, one of six judges in the competition, scored the Chinese riders lower than usual, but that was actually not the case. Ayumo Hirano is so sick. Only 15 years old? He's not a talent, he's a god. Poor Sean White, but it's a young person's sport after all, and White is already 27 years old. No one's invincible in the Olympics, except Michael Phelps. But no matter what, White is a god of the halfpipe. When I played computer games when I was little, I played Sean White snowboarding. For a lot of older snowboard fans, his name is snowboarding. The damn Japanese judges give China the lowest score every time. Those people attacking the scoring, I'm speechless. They cut the highest and the lowest scores and take the average of the other four. So no matter how low a score the Japanese judge gives, it won't affect the overall score, okay? Hope in the future, China making the finals in the Winter Olympics isn't news. Now the judging is interesting because sometimes judges score an athlete from their own country, which doesn't seem quite right.